Hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pratilam, continuing class series on BBOK407, Biology for Engineers. And this particular Biology for Engineers is not for computer science stream. Other streams like electronics and communication, electrical, mechanical, marine, uh, automobile, aeronautical, civil uh, related fields. They are, their biology is BBOK407, okay, that is Biology for Engineers. And this is the third part of module one. Okay, so uh, I have a set of series of classes going to happen. Before the semester, uh, I will be completing all the classes. And uh, whatever the study material I am preparing here in this PPT, that PPT converted PDF you can uh, download from the description box uh, of my YouTube video, particular video. Okay, so please do uh, uh, download from there for quick reference. Detailed note I need to prepare later. Now I am only identifying the points and taking the class, continuing the class compared to previous year. Okay, so please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is the support I am expecting from you. Please subscribe, like, uh, share, those things is also required, but subscription is required. I need to see that my subscription count increased and uh, my YouTube channel is my intuition. Uh, uh, 4865 okay moving on to the topic module 1 introduction to biology okay so this is the syllabus which is there for uh, the uh, VBOK407 syllabus and uh, this is the course outcome after completing the course what the students will learn finally what is the outcome that is also mentioned based on that only I prepare the question paper university also will prepare anyone who prepare question paper he has to he or she has to prepare based on the course outcome as well as the rbt revised bloom's taxonomy level also they need to indicate based on that order finally we can calculate what student learned so learned okay okay so now question that is uh, uh, the structure and uh, Discuss the structure of lipids and their uh, physiological significance. Evaluate the role of lipids in cellular functions and the human health. This is connected to course outcome 1 with uh, revised Bloom's taxonomy level of 3, carrying 10 marks. So, answer scheme is mentioned the schematic representation of lipid structure, schematic representation, as well as the micelli, not only the lipid, the micelli structure mainly. It carries 2 marks. Discussion of lipid structure 2 marks. Okay, what is the mark? The two marks. M A R K S. Two marks. The discussion of lipid structure. Two marks. Evaluation of uh, physiological significance. As three marks. Assessment of the role of uh, role in uh, cellular functions and uh, health. That uh, carries three marks. Okay, so we'll move on to the discussion. This is the simple uh, representation. Even simple representation you can draw a circle and uh, two lines that represents lipid schematically. Okay, so the long uh, tail that is non polar or hydrophobic group, the head here that is polar or hydrophilic group. So, compared to the head, the tail is very long, not this much uh, too long. Therefore, as such, the uh, one lipid molecule if you take, uh, if the head is very small and the uh, tail is very long, therefore, as such, we consider it as non polar, though it, ha it consists of a polar or hydrophilic group, we can treat it as. Uh, hydrophobic only so they can when they group together when so many lipid molecules come together they form the bilayer or it forms the micelli bilayer means two layers just like our skin skin is a lipid layer only okay so layers are formed or it forms a spherical shape a full perfect ball spherical shape that is called a micelli and how that arrangement that is uh, represented here by layer as well as micelli so schematically a student can draw it there is no much complication in that okay so this is the structure molecular structure of uh, uh, phospholipid this is no need to draw as such just to, to and make you understand that uh, ball and tail when we tell you will get confused what is that so this part it act as the that head and this is the long tail and the long tail you can see only carbon hydrogen carbon hydrogen is there nothing else whereas the head part you can see some oxygen double bonds are there negative charges are there so many okay so these make it polar charge separation and the long chain with only carbon and hydrogen there is no charge separation therefore that is non-polar region same type it is the glycerin okay the cell membranes 
the cell membranes are made up of phospholipids whereas the fat what we call the fat that is triglyceride that is also a lipid only it has got a three tails okay so fat has got three tail the cell membrane has got only two tails okay so that is just for fun okay we moving on to the uh, topic as such mean answer how to answer it that was just an introduction with the structure so the schematic representation of micelle the lipid structure is mentioned shown here the hydrophobic molecule it is composed of carbon uh, hydrogen and uh, oxygen uh, they forms the structure micelle type structure okay so the micelle type structure is mentioned here uh, that is in the ac aqueous environment aqueous means watery form in the watery environment they forms uh, the spherical shape because most of the part it hates water you want to go away from water therefore it forms either spherical structure or based on the condition it forms a bilayer structure that is about the structure types of uh, lipids uh, discussion on lipid structure there are uh, mainly uh, three types of uh, triglycerides phospholipids uh, and sterols uh, triglycerides uh, glycerol which is uh, the backbone and uh, the three fatty acid chains that is called uh, glycerol at a represent three tails that is the triglycerides are fats phospholipids are hydrophilic phosphate head and hydrophobic fatty acid tails are the steroids example cholesterol cholesterol is a steroid so i will take the and move on to the presentation where i reach okay i'm going back okay so you can see the triglyceride structure schematically represented triglyceride fatty acid is the triglyceride is there glycerol and glycerol and free fatty acid when they join together this oxygen and this ho combined together it becomes a uh, water molecule is removed and uh, it get connected there okay so it forms this structure so this is triglyceride structure or the fat structure now what is phospholipid phospholipid representation rep can be say simply represented like it can represent like this only you need to indicate that the head is a hydrophilic region and the remaining tail region that is hydrophobic okay so uh, watery environment the hydrophobic region uh, will go inside inwards and the hydrophobic hydrophilic region will come outward this is the structure of a cholesterol just as schematic representation only to make you understand what is cholesterol so, okay so this is an example of steroids you might have heard about steroids those who work in gym those who are uh, bodybuilders or they as well as the sports sports along with that uh, this words are also will come what is a steroid uh, a steroid is inject, injected uh, to get uh, that uh, so that 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 is actually a liquid okay so steroids uh, our body our body itself uh, generate uh, the required steroids uh, so we should not inject it from outside means extra steroids is not required therefore we have to believe in our uh, body system our system biological system now the structure and the physiological significance of lipids evaluation of physiological significance uh, it is used for uh, as an energy storage it is used as a cell membrane structure it is used for hormone production these are the main main uh, uh, physiology main uh, physiological significances okay in depth you know what it is so it is mentioned here the same thing only i'll be explained research triglycerides serve as a concentrated energy storage molecule compared to carbohydrate usually carbohydrates are the energy storage when carbohydrates are not there uh, that time uh, yeah, the lipids will be used the lipids will break down because long carbon nitrogen chains are there so if it breaks uh, it releases lot of energy almost uh, three four times uh, than that of uh, energy released by carbohydrates it forms a cell membrane structure the cell membranes uh, the skin uh, the cell membranes everything it is uh, actually uh, lipids uh, they protect the cell as well as they are semi permeable whatever required to the cell that only it will permit it to go all those uh, details you might have studied we are not going in detail about this hormone production steroid hormones derived from cholesterol it uh, will regulate the various uh, physiological processes whatever body our body needed called as the controlling is mainly by the hormones steroids are one of the hormones okay now structure and physiological significance of lipids uh, assessment of role in uh, cellular function and health 
I got somewhere I got stuck. Okay, so cell assessment of uh, role in uh, uh, assessment of role in role in cellular function and uh, health. Uh, suddenly um, I went somewhere. Okay, came back. Okay, cell so cell signaling lipids act as signaling molecules, influencing the cellular processes such as uh, inflammation and uh, apoptosis. Then nutrient absorption lipids aid in the absorption of uh, fat soluble vitamins and other nutrients it is used in uh, proper lipid balance is crucial for uh, the cellular structure hormone production and uh, overall health imbalances can uh, lead to obesity cardiovascular diseases metabolic disorders obesity means too much fat cardiovascular diseases related to heart metabolic disorders means uh, production related uh, growth related uh, that is metabolic disorders Question number nine: Evaluate the importance of vitamins in uh, maintaining human health. Discuss the role of uh, vitamins in uh, preventing specific diseases and uh, promoting overall well-being. That is CO1, RBT level three, ten marks. Evaluation of the importance of vitamins for mass. Discussion of the role in uh, disease prevention for mass. Promotion of overall well-being to mass. Straight away we go. We might have seen uh, this with our kids. <laughs> They are studying uh, more about uh, these vitamins. Uh, Uh, and uh, I mean all the related things. I took it from my kids, not uh, textbook. Uh, okay. To see that we have vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, B, B6, B12, C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin vitamin K, and which are the fruits which uh, which uh, supply these vitamins that are so represented in this image that you can uh, get it from uh, even Google. You can check what are the Sources of vitamin. Just to make you understand, when I say vitamins, where where we stand, you don't need to understand that. Importance of vitamins in uh, human health. Evaluation of the importance of the vitamins. Nutritional importance. Essential micronutrients required for various physiological functions. There are some uh, micronutrients uh, which is very much essential. Without that, our uh, function will not work. That is called as essential micronutrients. It acts as a cofactor and a coenzyme in metabolic reaction. Many uh, places, biological reactions, the vitamins uh, they will go and support the reaction either as a cofactor, supporting uh, factor, or uh, in the enzymatic reaction, it acts as a coenzyme in metabolic reaction. Crucial for overall health, supporting the growth, development, and immune function. So that is simple explanation. Vitamin A, it is essential for vision or eyes. Okay, vitamin A deficiency you can see. Specs, mm -hmm. not uh, its age factor. Yeah, no, no such age factor. Even if I could have taken proper vitamin A at this age, I will not be using this. Maybe. Okay, so essential for vision, vitamin A, immune function, and uh, the skin health. My skin health is very good. Okay, so immune function also very good. Okay, deficiency can lead to night blindness and uh, impaired immunity. So remember, what is the role of vitamin A? You should know. Vitamin C acts as an antioxidant. protecting against oxidative damages uh, deficiency causes scurvy with uh, symptoms like uh, fatigue uh, weak immunity these are all vitamin c okay the main antioxidant uh, function is given by vitamin d vitamin uh, vitamin c vitamin d it regulates the calcium absorption uh, which is needed for the bone health the deficiency lead to rickets or uh, osteoporosis these are the name that you already heard Vitamin E deficiency lead to nerve damage and uh, muscle weakness, and uh, vitamin E also act as an antioxidant, it protecting cell membranes. Uh, it supports in overall health. Uh, adequate intake ensures that uh, a proper physiological functioning contribute to the skin health, immune function, and the emotional well-being. Now, question number ten asks: uh, Examine the role of uh, hormones in maintaining homeostasis. Discuss their impact on uh, various physiological processes and their uh, potential applications in medicine. For CO1, RBTL3, uh, 10 mass homeostasis, very good word. Connecting to the environment, uh, adjusting to the environmental condition. Examination of the role of maintaining homeostasis is four mass. Discussion of impact on physiological processes four mass. Exploration of potential applications in medicine two mass. Okay, four plus four plus two is ten mass. Okay, so I think you can see this. image so for me it is not so clear uh, you need to zoom 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 okay zoom is working 
Oops. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will go from uh, the top. Huh? I, I think I can do it like this. Okay. Not that much. Ah, this is okay. Hypothalamus. TRH, CRH, GHRH, uh, dopamine, somatostatin, vasopressin. No need to go in depth. Only you need to see what are the uh, main uh, names. Hypothalamus, pineal gland, thyroid and parathyroid, pituitary gland, thymus. Uh, where it is going? Okay. Uh, stomach, uh, pancreas, uh, kidney, testis, uh, testis uh, uterus, uh, separate, okay, not, uh, testis is for uh, men, uh, uterus is for uh, women, ovary, uh, placenta, adrenal, uh, liver, okay, so, I think, uh, now I can come back, uh, no, that, okay, or oh, some movement happened, uh, okay, these are the different human body organs, okay, these are the different human body organs and uh, the credit, I took this image from uh, this particular uh, place, uh, Vector Mine, I should just talk, uh, otherwise uh, copyright issues are there, not my creation, uh, somebody did it in a well uh, satisfying way, I took it uh, to only to show you people, okay, uh, don't uh, put a plagiarism to my video, it will not come because it is educational purpose. So, role of hormones in maintaining homeostasis, examination of the role of maintaining homeostasis, definition of homeostasis, what is uh, 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 homeostasis, it is a body's ability to maintain a stable internal condition, uh, the hormones it will regulate the physiological process to achieve the homeostasis, uh, though the environment outside environment uh, different variations are there, uh, even uh, where we live also, uh, sudden rain, sudden uh, heat, uh, then co cold weather, okay, so outside whatever may be, our body inside, uh, in, anyhow we need to maintain a required body temperature, required body uh, alkalinity, all those needed, uh, that process is called homeostasis, we need to maintain that uh, homeostasis, so hormonal regulation produced by endocrine gland uh, act as a chemical messenger influencing target tissues of or organs. So, hormone regulation is also one of the role of uh, hormones. Uh, uh, impact of physiological process, blood glucose regulation, insulin and uh, uh, glucagon regulate the blood sugar level, water balance, anti-diuretic hormones, ADH. It controls water uh, reabsorption in the kidneys. Uh, thyroid function, thyroid hormones regulate the metabolism and the body temperature. Stress hormones, so cortisol and adrenaline manage the body's response to stress. Okay, so simple points only, there is no, no detailed explanation needed and you can pinpoint the uh, study material. So hormone replacement therapy, it treats uh, hormonal deficiencies or imbalance. Uh, diagnostic tools, uh, horm uh, hormone levels serve as the diagnostic uh, markers for uh, diseases. If hormone levels are uh, varying, that shows that uh, we are having disease, uh, we are diseased, okay, so that is the potential applications in medicine, uh, okay, question number uh, 11, explore the industrial applications where enzymes play a crucial role, CO2, uh, RBT level 3, 10 mass, 10 important applications with examples, elaborative explanation, huh? can give 10 mass, I cannot say only this only you need to write, there are many other, so, one, one, one mark each, ten you can give. Or uh, five or important applications with example also, you can give ten marks. I just mentioned ten. Okay, so one of the industry applications say food and uh, beverage industry. Amylase and uh, amylase is used for uh, converting the starches into sugar in uh, food processing, which enhances food quality and uh, reduces the processing time. Detergent manufacturing, it is used. Uh, proteases and lipases mainly. It improves the cleaning efficiency and reduces the energy consumption. Uh, textile industry, it is used, enzymes are used, cellulase is uh, used, it replaces the harsh chemicals, it reduces the environmental uh, pollution, uh, all, all the harsh detergents, everything can be replaced with uh, enzymes which will uh, do the function. With, they are very soft chemicals, so they are biodegradable, will not disturb the environment, I will not disturb our hand also. Okay, then uh, moving to biofuel production. It is used, uh, enzymes can be used for pre preparation of biofuel, um, bioethanol mainly. So it is a sustainable alternative to the fossil fuel. 
it can be used in uh, paper and pulp industry xylan is used for improving the paper quality reduces the chemical usage and environmental pollution uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing like enzymes are used for uh, drug synthesis which are very precise controlled reactions which lead into the purer products no impurities along with the drug therefore it is mainly used in drug in, the, in the preparing drug also bio remediation enzymes for uh, degrading environmental pollutants it can be used uh, to clean the polluted soil or polluted water another example uh, industry application bio remediation waste water treatment lipases and proteases are mainly used for uh, pollutant degradation it improves the treatment efficiency and reduces the chemical usage uh, diagnostic assays example elisa uh, is an enzyme which can uh, as a detection labels it enables the rapid and accurate disease diagnosis then uh, yeah that's about uh, this particular class video uh, module 1 completed uh, uh, of bbok407 thank you very much for being a good support to me once again thank you very much